Being good just feels so good. And when you're good, you're love. New villains, more exciting storylines, same cast members. Sounds like the perfect plan for the bad guys too. Right? But wait, does this mean we're finally getting a sequel? Is this confirmed? Who is on board for it? Keep watching to find out everything there is about the much needed continuation of the bad guys. Enjoy the spoiler filled video. <laughs> it's the bad guys! Arrest them! The most important thing for now is that Bad Guys director is on board for the next adventure. The Bad Guys, released April 22, 2022, remains one of the best animated feature films that are actually for both kids and adults. If you haven't seen the film yet, well, what are you waiting for? The Bad Guys has everything you look for in a good animated feature film. It includes humor, fantasy, and of course, fun. This was actually actually a film we never knew we needed so much. I hope you feel the same way because it looks like we're finally going to see a sequel to this masterpiece. Although nothing's been officially confirmed yet, the director of the film seems to be particularly interested in the idea of a follow-up or a continuation of some kind, any kind. Maybe we'll be given a prequel? Who knows? One thing we know for sure is that it's always fun to speculate and go through every possibility. With its perfect cast ensemble, incredible storylines, and even better source material, the bad guys took the world by storm back in 2022. Based on the Aaron Blabley's children book series of the same name, the movie finished the year as the second highest grossing animated flick of 2022. We already mentioned the amazing cast ensemble, which includes Sam Rockwell, who voiced is Mr. Wolf, the leader of the bad guys gang. Mr. Wolf is not like the others. He is actually a self-conscious theft who wants to be better every day. He also tries to take the rest of the gang on the right path in life. The rest of the cast includes Aquafina, Anthony Ramos, Alex Borstein, and Lily Singh. We would love to see them reprise their roles in the potential second installment because they were truly one of the most prominent features in the film. In an interview with the Digital Fit, the director Pierre said he would do a sequel if fans want to see one. In fact, he already came up with a story about a sequel. While trying to keep potential plot details under wraps, he revealed that he wants to continue the story with the same characters. In his own words, he thinks the audience would love that too. He also said, you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Okay, seriously, the bad guys did a great job at gathering all generations together to enjoy a simple yet amazing amazing flick that truly deserves to be given a continuation of some kind. But what if we get a TV show instead? Mixed opinions followed when rumors suggested that a TV show following the same plot was already in development. We'll talk about this a little later on in the video. In the first installment, viewers followed Mr. Wolf, a criminal mind who has loyal theft criminal friends, and together they do rip-offs. Mr. Snake, Mr. Shark, Mr. Piranha, and Ms. Tarantula. This is until a big twist occurs and the thieves are caught, which is when the characters realize maybe they're too good for this kind of job. A lot of people started linking the film to Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards, and they had every right to do this. Stole the golden dolphin! Come on, you can't prove that. My baby! Okay, now let's go back to the idea of the bad guys being turned into a TV show. Is this a good idea? Well, I am not sure as most fans would love to see a direct continuation in the form of a film instead. But again, it's better than nothing, right? About one year ago, Mark said someone is doing a TV series using the same storylines from the bad guys source material. Our fellows at Digital Fix sat down with the animated movies cast, Mark, Craig, and Anthony and use the opportunity to ask them about any future ideas for a sequel. The answers were surprising to say the least. I think they're doing a TV show, I don't know, Mark said, explaining that one of his friends came to him and admitted that he went on an audition to play him in a cartoon. His friend was like, they're looking for you. Craig and Anthony laughed and assured fans they would love to do a sequel. As for the TV show, we honestly have no idea who's making it. Maybe this whole thing was just 
an idea. Maybe someone is really making a TV show based on the same story. Whatever the case, the cast and the director of the film are all more interested in a sequel rather than a TV series. Don't you guys think a sequel is a better idea? Let us know. Oh, and make sure to share your own theories regarding the plot of the potential continuation. Gutless. I'm gutless? Oh, ho, ho. I'm sorry. Have we met? I'm the villain of every story. Guilty until proven innocent, even if by some miracle we did change. Now let's jump into the surprising plot details, shall we? The sequel of the bad guys can go in any direction. Literally, it can go anywhere, and it would still be good. The story could easily continue with Mr. Wolf and his thieves fellas, but this time we can see them as heroes rather than thieves. As mentioned before, the first film has so many wild plot twists, a trend that could easily continue in the second film, as it proved to be successful already. Mr. Wolf and his crew of thieves are just a group of misunderstood criminals and they really try to be better. By the end of the first film, they won by stopping Marmalade's wicked plan to frame them and steal millions of dollars of charity money in Los Angeles. The governor, Diane Foxington, played a key role in their redemption, and we expect to see her again in a potential fall Follow up. The most popular theory about the plot for the next film is the one suggesting that the Team Wolf will now appear as heroes. This way, the once bad guys can do good deeds and help solve what cops can't. It feels good. Real good. Diane, it belongs to you. But there's also the possibility of them appearing as villains again. According to most fans, seeing the wolf team steal is more fun than seeing them as good guys. This way, we can meet new characters such as cops, and maybe the wolf gang could welcome new members. Diving into the past of these characters seems like a great idea as well. All of the characters in the film are well developed and unique, which is why a prequel sounds like a good idea. Honestly, I don't understand why a sequel to the bad guys hasn't been greenlit yet. This is one of those rare films that truly deserves a continuation. But what about Marmalade? Is he coming back? Marmalade ends up in jail, but don't forget he still gets helped and can escape. Then he could simply continue his work with friends, family, or other cartel and thus revenge on everyone who wronged him. This seems like a suitable storyline that would allow new villains to join the sequel. There's another theory suggesting that Marmalade will become an ally in the next film. The possibilities are endless, and now the only thing we can do is wait for the creators and the company to finally greenlight a sequel, prequel, TV show, or just anything. It would still be better than nothing. Don't you guys agree? The incredible box office performance of the bad guys proves that a sequel will happen, and it's just a matter of time until we hear an official announcement. In its opening weekend in the US, the bad guys grossed an estimated $24 million, defeating the Northmen $12 million and the unbearable weight of massive talent, 7.2 million, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 15.2 million, and Fantastic Beasts, The Secret of Dumbledore, 14 million. If this isn't enough, I don't know what is. Do you think The Bad Guys deserves to go beyond its first installment? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you like our video and subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Ready to get to work? <laughs> hey, whoa. Oh.